Hello everyone, welcome back to That Catholic Gamer Dude Plays Game Dev Tycoon. We have hired two new people, and we are making games. First things first, let's see, you're gonna get, let's see, let's generate a game report real quick for Adventures of Bob. Actually making some pretty decent cash on that one. Today, Nintendo announced a much anticipated successful successor to the popular test control. This is the greatest console we've ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It's simply superior, and that's why... It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super Test. Makes sense. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed until they find out there's no backwards compatibility. Let's do... Let's have Trenton... Research... Simple cutscenes... Jerry, you're gonna research... You create high, a world class team. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to create high, hit games and have a world class team, training is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all renders of your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and one technology specialist. Okay. Game dev gems unknown. I don't know what that does. Jerry, go ahead. Do some research. Our post analysis of Injured Bob is complete. We got the following results. Engine seems not important for this type of game. Topic audience match medieval mature equals good. Seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Okay. Well, let's do a research on a new topic then. We're going to do aliens. <clears throat> All right. Let's get everybody simple cutscenes. All right, completed aliens, technology, come on. Come on. All right. We're gonna develop a new game. We're gonna do one more small. First off, let's figure out what we're going to develop. Aliens, pick a genre, action, pick a platform. Oh, let's see here. Gonna do it on the test, pick a game engine, unsound version one, game 14. Uh, what do we want to call this? We want to call this, um... Hmm... Space... <laughs> maybe a little topical. Space Illegal Immigrants. No, that'd be bad. Um... Let's see... Space Visitors. There we go. Close enough. Uh, let's see. Graphics version 2. Actually, let's make this a 3D. Alright. Engine, gameplay, story quest, not so much, but leave everything on there. Adventures of Bob and then off to the market. It sold 65,000, generating 457,000 in sales. Probably gonna have to take a publisher contract soon. Alright. Today, a new game platform, Super Tests by Nivento, has been released. Great, we're about to develop for an out of date system. But that should be alright. We get this out the door before that happens, it should be fine. Artificial intelligence, yes. Level design, okay. And dialogues, not so much. So far, this looks pretty balanced. And then... World design down graphics, yes. Sound, very much so. And... There we go. Fully functioning team. Making wonders. Boop, boop, boop. Fix all the bugs. Fix bugs. All right. Push it out the door. New record. New topic. New combo. We do level up 3D graphics version one. Sweet. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Following reviews, our newly released game, Space Visitors, came in. It is a beautiful game. Star Games. Okay. Enjoyable, inform gamer. Nice experience, game hero. Good game, all games. Well, that did not go as well as I was expecting, but still, that should be all right. Let's generate a game report just to see, and then I'm gonna do some training for game dev gems. Let's see, let's see. This is an all arounder, so technology, design, research, speed, make me think. Game design for pirates. Don't repeat yourself. Code incomplete. Let's do code incomplete. I'm gonna have you do some research. The 35. We only got 20 points on that. 
And let's save up our research on that one. What do we want you to do? New train. <clears throat> I still need five research points. That should be all right, though. Um, we're doing code incomplete. Don't repeat yourself. Game design for pirates. Let's do that. All right, our post analysis release. Space is complete. Release of got following results. Aliens and action is a great combination. Engine seems very important for this type of game. Tony, audience. Topic, audience match, aliens, everyone great. We have some additional insights. Trent and Rios, Jerry Slow are still new to the team. A few more games in the team will have higher potential. Works for me. Let's get that training done. Let's do some training for myself, too. Make me think. I don't know what that is. See, the media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. Surprise announcement, Vani, a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Apparently, Vani has collaborated with Invento, creators of the beloved and successful test and super test consoles developed, which is basically a super test with a CD drive. This will be the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists, uh, yeah, journalists around the world baffled. It's only one day after Vani and Invento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Invento announced that they would cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has a distribution deal the companies worked out was unfavorable to Invento, handing over much of the control to Vani. This seems to be the end of the play system. Where you know how that turns out. Let's see. From time to time, your employees will need to recharge their batteries and go on vacation. You can tell that an employee is in need of rest when their efficiency steadily decreases. Give them a holiday. Just click on them and select to send on vacation. Let's see. All right. Finish up, guys. All right. We're going to develop a... Let's see. Actually, you know what? Alternate history simulation... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try and accept a contract. This will be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but I'm going to pick a platform. Action. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Simulation. Simulation should be good for a PC. Pick a game engine, the V1. Medium game. Let's do... What are we going to call this? Alternate history simulation called uh, Blue Alert. Or um, let's see. Uh, oh, I know. Um, society. You'll have to think about that one a little bit. Let's see, 2D graphics version 2. In two months, the test will be taken off the market. Generate a bug right off the bat. Space Visitor is now off the market. Sold 52,000, generating 369,864 in sales. Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike in small games, one person cannot be effective. Libby is responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game and to make the best use of your team, you'll have to assign which of your teams responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skills match the area to get the best result. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you'll see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Okay, so as... Now, this is where things get a little more interesting, because the the way this works is that you have to assign individual people to the uh, uh, to individual sections. So it's good TCG dude with the engine and then stories and quests. So basically you assign. Oops. Let's see. It's basically. The way this works is that you assign different people to different roles and then their loads go up depending upon how much of the time is allocated. So basically, I've allocated 51% of this stage to myself. Trenton Rios gets 36 and Jerry Soul gets 14. So we're doing bubbles. Hi, this is your Glunger from Game Nova. I got a word that Shulware Inc. is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview with it? Sure. What is your expectation regarding the success of society? Do you think the game will be well received? Um, Hypey game. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Season market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Okay. All right. So I get it like that. All right, so let's see. Simulation, level design dialogues. I really have no idea for simulation. We do level design. Artif Actually, simulation definitely needs artificial intelligence. So that should be that. 
do that, and then do level design, and then for myself, do that for stage two. That should be all right. Do plenty of research as well. Come on, guys. Killing me here. All right, well, we do get a lot more research out of this, but I have a feeling this is gonna be a bit of a bomb. All right, world design, graphics, and... See, so get pumped that up. World design. Uh, actually. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we get that, and then three, two, one. There. Uh, okay. You know what? This is gonna be interesting. I think I'm just gonna roll with that. Nope. Oh, I gotta drag somebody there. Jerry Sloan, TZ dude, Trenton Rios. There we go. All right. Here goes nothing. Test is no longer supported. You released four games on the platform and earned almost a million. Cool. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Getting a few more. I mean, decrypt message. This is a very special offer. I just recently received borrow some research information that would be interest to you. If you're interested in transfer to six location, we'll contact you, Agent Blowfish. Sure, decrypt message. Thank you for your business. You successfully researched dance. That was not worth 6K. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, well, we didn't do any new records, so that, this is going to be very interesting. First reviews are a newly released game, Society came in. Oh, get up there. Fun at stages, star games. Oh, meh, inform gamer. Shows potential, game hero. Uh, falls a bit short, all games. Oh well. Go on vacation. You go on vacation too. I'm gonna generate a game report, figure out what went wrong. <clears throat> Electronic mix. This game does not live up to expectations. As per contract, a penalty will apply to your account. Great. 185. An exclusive interview a while ago, TG for Showboard made very bold comments about their game ex would be game society, predicting it would be uber successful. Now the game is out on the market. The consensus is that TG do needs to listen to how to be humble as a game received mediocre reviews. Overall, this had negative effect on sales. Hey, I was confident. <clears throat> All right, still. Our post for the analysis of society is complete. We got the following results. Alien history simulation is an okay combination. And just needs to be quite important for this type of game. Platform genre match, PC simulation, great. Topic history match, alternate history, everyone, great. All right, so we got the stuff that we could control down pretty good. Still, actually, this is working out pretty decently. But we do want to... I think we want to start looking into... Research. And... We'll do some research on that. How much is this training costing me? 15k? Uh, don't repeat yourself. Let's do that. You train. You train. You are our designer. Uh, you can't do anything. Okay. What can you do? Nope, you can't do nothing. We're just gonna have to wait. Oh, running a company is tough. But we did actually make some of our cash back, which was actually pretty good. And uh, we earned a lot of research, which is what's kind of important right now. Because what we really need to do is get that game engine up. I don't want to hire anybody else because otherwise we're going to run into some issues. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to create another game engine. I'm going to call this the... Actually... What are our engines? I forget what they're called. The Unsound and the Iceberg V1? Yeah. You know what? We're going to create a custom engine. I'm going to call it the Iceberg V2. Open world. Dump all that good old graphic stuff in there. Iceberg V2. 390k. 
and we want to crank this sucker out. Society is now off to market. It sold 700. That looks like a lot of units, and it looks like a lot of sales, but we only got 12% of that. All right. Next up, we'll want to see if we can find ourselves a decent publishing contract, but we're just basically going to wait. These guys are working pretty hard. I'm liking it so far. And the uh, research didn't take too... And the uh, the engine itself didn't take too long. Your new game engine, Iceberg V2, is complete. Let's make one more game. Let's find another publishing deal. Don't have one for the Master V. Post-apocalyptic, any genre. Min minimum score, six. Game size, medium. Type, mature. That sounds like it's right up our alley. Post-apocalyptic, apocalyptic. Pick genre, RPG, platform... We'll do the PC because they love that sort of thing. Game Engine Iceberg V2. We're going to call this the... Um, uh, what are we going to call this? Uh, oh, 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 oh. Shadow, wa Shadow Walker. Shadow Walk. Excellent. We're going to do that. And then... Let's get all kinds of stuff in there. Get all kinds of stuff in this. So, stories and quests. Engine down. Jerry Sloan. Soul, Jerry Soul. Trenton Rios. TCD dude. Um, let's do... Let's double up. Let's see. Do we want to double up on that? And Tech. And uh, let's see. Now, let's do... Let's get him on the engine a little bit more. And then we'll do add simple cutscenes for good measure. There we go. Come on. Let's see those bubbles. Oh, that looks good. A little high on the design section, though. Uh, artificial intelligence, not so much. Level dis dialogues, definitely. We'll save Jerry for the home stretch on that. <clears throat> oh, Trenton, do the level design as well. Uh, no, actually, I have myself do the level design. And then Trenton will do the other two. Because we want to save Jerry for the graphics portion. Uh, that looks good to me. <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> Should I put myself on there? Trenton on there. Level design. Dialogue is definitely important. Better dialogues. Let's do that. Alright, dear Shovelware Inc., we've followed your progress in recent years and would like you to express this formal invitation to participate in the biggest games convention on the planet, Games, 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 also known as G3. By having your company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype your games and we think our, your, our audience would love to see you there. We'll contact you with yearly booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 committee. Okay. Now for graphics. And world design, graphics. Jerry needs to do that. Um, Trenton, get on that. No, dude. Me, get on there. That should be all right. Open world, yes. <clears throat> Stop scratching your head. We need tech now. Okay, fix all the bugs. Fix all the bugs. All right. Wow, I get a lot of design, not a lot in the way of tech. Okay, well, here goes nothing. New records in both. Everybody leveled up. New available research, better AI. Why don't you research that real quick? Um, actually, no, do marketing. First reviews for our new release game, Shadow Walk, came in. It is a 9. Post-apocalyptic garbage is a great combination. Everyone loves it, Inform Gamer. One of the best, Game Hero. 
Played it for days. All games. All games? Come on, dude. Generate a game report. You. Do some... Research into... Space games. Look at that. We are selling. Rank 3. Codemeisters. The game meets required business ratings. We are looking forward to future business. Or meets required ratings. We knocked it out of the park. Oh, uh, big game convention will take place in four weeks' time. Do you want to participate? Small puppet stand where we can show you our marketing material. It isn't very impressive, but a common setup at G3. Um, let's do that because we actually want to. Actually, no, this not this one. You successfully unlock marketing. You can now access marketing options in the action menu, but only while the game is in development. All right, so we're gonna do it for here. Thank you very much. That's been that Catholic gamer dude playing Game Dev Tycoon, and I. Whoop. I've been playing Shadow Walk and have tremendously enjoyed the experience. The character dialogues in this game are just outstanding. Rarely will you be so captivated in a conversation. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could possibly be better. I released one with pirates. You guys hated it. Andrew McNamara, Game Informant. Still, rank 4. Right there. Our post-analysis of Shadow Walk is complete. We've got the following results. Sound seems to be a very important topic. Audience match, post-apocalyptic, mature, great. Alright, we're going to stop it here. Thank you very much for joining me. It's been that Catholic Gamer Dude playing Game Dev Tycoon. We released a smash hit and with a full staff. So we got plenty of research and all that other good stuff. So I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.